Zach Stark, thanks for being with us. Uh, very excited to hear about Florida today. So if you people watching this are on my channel, Living in Minnesota, uh, Zach is down in Fort Myers area, Cape Coral area. So he's going to tell us all about that. And vice versa, if you're watching this on Zach's channel, uh, I'm up in the Twin Cities. And so we're excited to share with both of you guys uh, moving to or from either area what we got going on. So thanks for being here, man. Thanks for having me. Well, okay, let's start talking about the weather, uh, which I usually start with with uh, states like yours. Go ahead, rub it in. Tell us how great Florida's weather is, why they so, move from here. <laughs> you know, if in, in, I'll cut to the chase. In January, I, I think there could literally be a 100-degree difference between Minneapolis and Fort Myers weather. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's quite quite different. But, um, you know, our, our weather, obviously, it's we have Florida gets snow occasionally. We never do. Oh, um, no. But, you know, in your wintertime, your snowbird season, you're going to average about probably the mid-70s. Uh, we do have a handful of days where a handful of nights, I should say, where we turn on the heat and that's more my wife who grew up here wants the heat on, not me. Cause it's um, what 64 degrees and uh, a little we cool. occasionally <laughs> get into the forties. Oh, you know? okay. But I mean, that's how it's, you know, so, um, but then in the winter time, excuse me, in the summertime, we're high, high eighties, low nineties with ridiculous humidity. So yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty broad range. Um, sure. but shorts year round for the most part. So sure. Is it humid kind of year round? Um, it's not, it's yes, but when it's 70, you don't notice as much when it's 90. Sure. Um, but there, there's certainly more humidity. It's, it's just, it's more uncomfortable in the summertime. There's just no other way to say it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That makes sense. Yeah. So. Cool. But you guys, I mean, how, how cool does it get up there? I mean, I know it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as bad as they make out in the movies. Like every time there's a movie, you know, there's like six feet of snow and it's, you know, freaking cold. Yeah. Uh, it does get really cold. I mean, I think the coldest I've probably been in is negative 15 or 20 or so. Okay. Um, it's the wind chill for us in the winter. So if people are coming up, they're not used to the winter. Um, it, it's kind of like this running joke that, well, if it wasn't for the wind, it wouldn't be too bad because it gets uh, really nasty from the wind chill. So uh, it does get really, really cold. Typically around Thanksgiving time is when we'll start seeing snow. Oh, wow. um, and then we might have up to a couple of feet on average, I would guess, um, through the winter months. And then that'll stick around until, you know, March, April, sometimes in the May, we'll even have snow. So okay. uh, definitely cold. The thing that's interesting about Minnesota weather is we go from winter to summer overnight. There's kind of only two seasons. Uh, we're, we're kind of almost in a fall season right now. We're recording this in August, um, it, but it goes from one to the other. So then once we go from cold, uh, you get a very quick chance of nice weather and then it gets warm. So it does actually get pretty warm here um, and it'll be pretty humid as well because we've got all the lakes, right? So this is the land of 10,000 lakes. It's very, very green. Uh, people love to get outside, um, but then it'll get, you know, I think today's supposed to be like 93 um, and pretty humid. So that's, uh, that's pretty nasty for us. It'll get over a hundred, you know, once or twice a year, maybe, but it's not a regular thing at least. Got it. Got it. Okay. But that's obviously why so many people are watching this because they want to move from here to there. Uh, or my they're, they're actually used to it then. I would have thought it'd be a little more extreme, but it sounds like a lot of them wouldn't, wouldn't be too bad for some people. So yeah, no, uh, it's, it's, it's not terrible. I think you get used to it and there's so many things to do year round here that, mm -hmm. uh, that makes it really nice. So let's talk about people moving to or from. Um, obviously, Minnesota is notorious for either snowbirds moving down or people looking for short-term rentals. So why don't we talk about a snowbird that's watching this? They're wanting to get out of our winters. What kind of prices? What kind of properties? What are they looking at if they move to Fort Myers? So in the Fort Myers area, you know, Southwest Florida, there's a couple two major areas. You've got your Cape Coral and Fort Myers area, and then south you've got Naples. And the reason I break it down is those are the two popular areas, and they're actually quite different. Uh, Naples, you know, is, is just a lot more expensive. So, is it, they're both, they're all nice areas, but Naples is just a lot more expensive. Um, in the Fort Myers area for a condo, you're right now, we're looking at the average price probably in the low 200s for a, for a two bedroom condo. Uh, for a single family home, our average price is in the low 400s. Okay. And then, That's not uh, terrible. So, no, it's not, it's not bad at all. Um, now, a lot of the communities, especially the newer ones, have HOA fees. Mm. So, you have to add that onto your monthly budget, and that can vary from $100 a month to very the very nice areas you know six seven eight hundred dollars per month sure. it includes different things too whether it might, might include some of your utilities such as water and sewer uh, might include your cable or it might just include you know things like your roof so it just it really varies by the community sure. and probably pools and lawn maintenance and all that kind of stuff exactly like i said it, it people always say well, what is it what do your hoa fees include and it, it varies by community i can't i can say what it might include or what it for a specific right. community but there's no blanket statement unfortunately but yes yeah, sure. you do get you do get things for your money so yeah, I love it. 
Okay. So then for somebody that's looking for a short-term rental, what kind of prices are they going to be looking at? Um, more desirable areas and, and typically some renovation costs with that as well. Yeah. So it's, um, short-term rental to, you know, you're looking at, depending on the community, say about $3,000 per month, uh, January, February, March is what we call season. Just season is the only <laughs> way they describe it. Um, but it is obviously our main tourist snowbird season. Sure. Um, and like I said, you're looking, say on average, $3,000 a month for a you know, two to three bedroom condo. Uh, sure. Again, should, should have a pool, should have amenities. You might have golf. Uh, sometimes golf is extra, uh, sure. and so on and so forth. But $3,000 sure. is probably good, the mid-range. To rent a short-term rental. <clears throat> to rent, yeah. Okay. That's, that's turnkey furnished. That's you know, everything from the, the bed sheets and the linens to the towels to the, uh, the silverware, the cutlery, and of course, your furniture as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Okay, so what if I want to buy a short-term rental down there? You know, typical price point that I'm going to be looking at. So again, depends. You know, looking um, you know, for a condo again, low low two hundred uh, is sort of the average price. Plus, you have to obviously have to pay your fees on top of that. The landlord pays that. Uh, you just want to depend. You know, they'll have everyone's got their own rental restrictions too, as far as what what's allowed to be rented, how long it's going to be rented, and so on. But yeah, I mean, Didn't I, hear, I think Fort Myers doesn't allow short-term rentals, right? But Cape Coral does. Um, no, well, they do, they do. Um, okay. but it just, most places, most communities, um, typically have a one month and again, I'm making a blanket statement here, which I shouldn't, but typically a one month minimum. Okay. Um, so they're allowed to rent it. I know, um, the city of Sandoval, for example, which is a little Island off the coast of Fort Myers, um, they don't allow short rentals for less than a month either. So sure. even if you're not in an HOA, but most HOAs typically cap it at a month, a one month minimum. Um, but again, it depends by the community. Okay. It depends on the community. I'm sorry. Sure. Uh, speaking of islands, is there a lot of island real estate that you can get down there or what's that like? So um, island? There is. So off the coast of Port Myers, we have Sanibel Island uh, and then Captiva Island which is the north end of Sanibel. Um, there's a lot of beautiful homes there. Again, you know, their prices are a little higher. Everything's more expensive on an island. But, sure. uh, you know, you can get a, a one bedroom condo for probably a, below mid 200s, I'd say. Hmm. And, you know, beachfront, oceanfront home for, you know, whatever your limit happens to be. So Sure. That's awesome. But there's a few different, a few different options. Yeah. There's also um, Pine Island, which is off the coast of Fort Myers, excuse me, off the coast of Cape Coral. Um, and they have a little more reasonable priced homes. They do have some nice, nice mobile homes as well as, you know, single family homes. Um, it, it's people either love it or hate it because it's, it's, it's not easy to get to. Sure. But uh, you do have some nice options there as well. So. Sure. What's new construction look like for you guys if I'm wanting a new construction single family? So there's tons of new construction, um, you know, within Fort Myers itself, you know, we're, I wouldn't say unique, but you know, in, in your area of the Twin Cities, I'm assuming you're expanding everywhere, right? Yep. Whereas here in Fort Myers, you know, this is the Gulf of Mexico, so we can only go this way. Right. So you, we, we do have a lot of new construction options. Um, you got some, you know, villas, also known as a duplex. They call them villas down here. It sounds much more fancy. Mm -hmm. um, you can get right now in the probably the high threes. Um, okay. Our new construction has showed, slowed down. Single family homes, you're looking probably, you know, starting in the high fours. Again, okay. slow down and it goes up, you know, uh, up from there, depending on your budget. We do sure. have some beautiful, you know, lakefront homes here uh, that are brand new construction. But I mean, you're, you're going to be into the seven figures at that point. Well, those aren't nearly as high as I thought they would have been, actually. So it's not that different from here. So yeah, no, it's not, it's not bad. It's fairly it, affordable. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's definitely affordable, you know, and especially when you factor in, you know, our you know, state income tax, which is nice. Yeah. Um, our property taxes are a little bit higher. And not sure. not much by far. To be honest, our, our insurance is a little more because of hurricanes, but uh, sure. All in all, the cost of living, the cost of housing is not not bad at all. So sure. Do you know what your property tax rate is by chance? Rough ballpark. So no, and I should. <laughs> um, <laughs> there, you know, of course I should. Um, okay. But no, I mean, I, I live outside the city limits, so I don't pay city taxes. Just pay county taxes. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say we we're around one percent. Okay. Um, and of course, okay. if you're in the city limits of, of whatever town you're in, you're going to pay a little bit more as well. Sure, that's awesome. Uh, that's a pretty significant difference with ours too. We've got one of the highest, uh, income taxes. I think we're number four or five in the state. Um, but our property taxes are actually pretty similar to yours too, which is interesting. So I think ours are one, you know, 1.1 1 .1 or something. Your, uh, your income taxes are the fourth or fifth highest. Is that what you just said? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So we had California, New York. Uh, yep. uh, Illinois, I think is pretty high. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that was pretty interesting. I actually just had a call with, uh, a uh, lady from California, hers are the highest and ours were, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, well, I would, I would never would have, if you would have told me to put an order of taxes, I, I yeah. never would have guessed Minnesota was up there. I, to be honest, I didn't either until I looked it up and then I was like, oh shoot. <laughs> <laughs> so that'd be a huge difference. You know, it can be big savings for people that move down there. And as I understand it too, they've just got to be a resident of California, like six months and one day, and then they can get 
residency in Florida, right? And then they can be up here the rest of the time. Yeah, so you have to be, um, you have to be, yes, this has to be your primary residence. Um, again, yeah, six months plus a day. We also have something called homesteading here. Um, mm -hmm. Different states have different versions of it, but basically you get a discount on your property taxes. Sure. Uh, but again, you have to live here the majority of the year, which is more than six months. You also have to live here on the first of the month, excuse me, the first of the year. And then um, you have to live on the, here on the first of the year to claim it. And after that, you can, any six month portion, you can be here to, to claim it. So sure. Yeah. We do have homesteading here as well. It's not a very significant tax break. I, I don't know what the, the actual number is, but a few hundred bucks or something a year. I mean, it's not a major. Yeah, ours is ours is fifty thousand dollars off the assessed value. Um, okay, yeah. which is not, you know, if you're looking at a million dollar home, what right. we do, you know. Yeah, um, but hey, money's money. So <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Cool. Uh, I love it. Uh, so if somebody wants to move down to Fort Myers, what's the first steps? I mean, what should they do to get to know the area and get in touch with you? Well, I always, you know, it's funny, I've, I've had a few clients, probably pandemic, definitely pandemic related that have actually bought homes sight unseen. Yeah. Um, most have been to the area. Uh, I'll tell you my last transaction for 2021 was a um, couple family from Philadelphia area. They moved down here, bought a very expensive home sight unseen. And I don't mean just sight unseen on the home. I mean sight unseen in the area. I've never been to Fort Myers. So um, <laughs> obviously that's normal. It's very, you know, my my heart was racing a mile a minute the first time they saw the home. Right. But, um, <laughs> I hope they like yeah, it. <laughs> I, would, I would encourage you to, to come down, know the area at the very least right. have someone, I mean, I will do my best to give you the best, best, uh, you know, introduction of the area, even if it's remote, right. but if you have someone, you know, something can be your eyes and ears here, if you're not absolutely able to get here, um, but in a perfect world, yeah, come down and check out the area because it does vary, you know, I mean the mm -hmm. whole, even the Fort Myers area varies, but from Fort Myers to Cape Coral to Santa Bell to Naples, there's, there's a broad, different, broader array of uh, options. So, yeah. Yep. I, love it. That, I tell people the same thing. I mean, go get a flight, spend a weekend and, and get a rental car, drive up and down and see what parts of town you like to live in, you know, which suburbs you want to be. Absolutely. Uh, in and around I think, I think there's, I think there's three airlines. I think uh, Sun Country, North or Delta now, and maybe Spirit fly from Minneapolis to Fort Myers. Oh, so, nice. I mean, you can get, it's cheap, you know, things. And, and in the big picture, yeah. when you're spending a lot of money on a house, Spend a few hundred dollars on a flight first. Right. So. Get down there and, you know, make it a little mini vacation anyways and enjoy Absolutely. the area, see Absolutely. the sights. And, and yeah, Definitely. completely agree. I just had a call from a lady, did the same thing, uh, wanted to move to St. Paul and never been to the area before ever, <laughs> never seen the house. We kind of did a video tour and she's like, all right, let's make an offer. And she'd um, never been there. Wow. That's, no, yeah, which I is, know. you know, I mean, you can do, but I would definitely recommend, I mean, you might not like the area. It might not be close to the things you want to do or, or trails Absolutely. or whatever amenities so get to Absolutely. know the areas come spend a little bit of time i love i say the same exact thing so yeah no because it's 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 a big risk you know i mean it's it's uh you, you try to you trust your agent to show you everything but there's still things that you might like or don't like that right i'm never gonna know you're never gonna know you know so you want yeah. to see it when they, when they can so yep everybody's got very different standards of living and standards for the home and what big is to one is not big to another or smaller. Or exactly. Whatever. And people look on Google maps, but sometimes, you know, the Google street view could be, I was looking one this morning. I was over 10 years old. So, oh, I mean, yeah. it's, it's obviously not uh, <laughs> tiny me. So. And you don't want to walk up to your street that you thought looked like this and then it's completely different and exactly. <laughs> it's 10 exactly. years old. I love it. Well, Zach, thanks so much for being on with us. Uh, for people watching this, make sure you subscribe both of our channels. We're going to put the links to them in the description below with contact information and everything else. If you have questions, hit us in the comments. We'd be happy to interact with you there. Uh, and then definitely find all of our information in the comments. So thank you, Zach. Thanks, Appreciate bro. your time today. Appreciate man. It. Take care. Cool. Thanks. Bye-bye. Sweet, man. That was okay. good. That was simple. I think that'll be good. So Steve's my marketing guy. He's on with us. He'll send you the link to the recording. Okay. We'll just give you the raw file and you can do whatever you want with it. Okay. Um, he'll put in their links to our channel and contact information, all that as well. Okay. Um, and then I think I have all of yours anyways, but if you have something specific you want me to put in there, feel free to email it to me and okay. we'll have him get it in there. So cool. it won't be up on my channel for a few weeks, probably. We're doing half a dozen of these this week. And so we'll we're going to put them all together and kind of launch the playlist together. So, Got it. Uh, and I don't know too, as far as keyword tagging, if they're tagged similar, I figured it would work better, but I'm going to actually tag moving to Fort Myers, moving to Florida, whatever, and moving okay. to Minnesota. I don't think okay. there's a lot of keywords we're going to find that's moving from Minneapolis to Fort Myers, yeah. you know? Um, but I think there's going to be a huge traffic with both of us tagging in both ways so that we're competing with each other, but then we block out everybody else basically. And then whichever Absolutely. video they click on, it doesn't matter. Cause okay. 
a bit to both of us is is what I'm thinking, but you can do whatever. I yeah, no, it makes makes sense. I'm still trying to figure out the keywords, you know. So it's yeah. uh, <laughs> I, I put them in and I'm wondering, ah, do they work? Do they you know I know they work, but am I doing it right? I guess is my question. So yeah. Eh, I don't know. Do you have keywords everywhere? I do. Yeah, that's the best thing. I mean, we love that. Yeah. Research, see what people are searching for and throw something against the wall, hope it sticks. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So I was obviously there's two buddy too. So I don't know if yeah. the two of them are smarter than I am. So we do. I uh we just signed up for the pro thing. I'm not really sure if it was worth it to be honest, but at least you can track what your competitors have going yeah. on. And exactly. Uh, so that's been pretty, pretty fun to watch. Cool. Kind of competitive. So <laughs> sounds good. Sweet. All right, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks, appreciate it. Take care. Yep. See ya. Bye-bye.